As of Tuesday, there are exactly three weeks to go before the big midterm election. Interesting question. Big question is whether Democrats can take control of the House. But in some ways, in recent days, the more intriguing question has turned into, can Democrats take control of the Senate? Do they have a chance to do that? Or have trends moved toward Republicans and away from the Democrats and made that impossible, as some people on the Republican side like to think? And I do think this Kavanaugh battle has energized a lot of conservatives, has, have, has woken them up. You know, there's clearly a Kavanaugh effect at work in some red states around the country in which Republican base anger at the way Brett Kavanaugh was treated in his Supreme Court confirmation hearings is benefiting Republicans in those red states, making it harder for Democrats to win some of those states, to find the two seats they need to win to take from Republicans to turn a 51 to 49 deficit in the Senate into a majority in their favor. So how does this play out on balance? Well, I'm looking right now at three interesting bellwether Senate races that might tell you the answer to that question. The first is in Missouri, where Democrat Claire McCaskill is trying to hang on. And she, maybe more than any other Democrat, had a real problem with the Kavanaugh vote. She voted against his confirmation, and she really is trapped between a state that has a progressive base in Kansas City and St. Louis that very much wanted a vote against Brett Kavanaugh, and a southern part of the state that's much more conservative and is kind of Trump country. So it's an interesting test in how this plays out in a bellwether state. Josh Hawley, her Republican opponent, is actually trying to use the Kavanaugh issue to his benefit. We'll see how that works out. Second big state is Florida, where you have Democratic Senator Bill Nelson in a high stakes and high cost race against Governor Rick Scott. This is an important one for both parties and a lot of money is being thrown at it from all over the place. And the interesting question right now is how will Hurricane Michael affect the race? Does it help Governor Scott because he's seen as the governor who's in charge of rescue efforts for the parts of the state hit so hard by the storm last week? Or over the next three weeks, will those rescue efforts be seen as coming short? And will that be a problem for Governor Scott? So again, a very important race, very hard to call at this state. And third bellwether seat, an open seat in Arizona, where you have two women from the House of Representatives, Kirsten Sinema for the Democrats, Martha McSally for the Republicans, running against each other in a year in which women candidates and women voters are arguably more important than ever before. You have a situation in which Martha McSally is running more as a Trump Republican than she was just a few months ago. My friend, Martha McSally, she's the real deal. She's tough. And Kirsten Sinema is running as a kind of Democratic moderate in the ultimate purple state. Arizonans are looking for someone who's independent, who's going to stand up for them and not just do what party bosses say. How does that play out? That's going to be an important one to watch as well. If Democrats can win in these three bellwether states, they have a chance of taking control of the Senate. But the way the math stacks up, they may have to win all three.